playing this game, I realized I'm actually not that bad at coding, so I might give it a shot and become a professional software engineer. Now the next level, level 14, I'm not gonna do just yet because there's level two and I messed up the optional challenges. It's like the simplest level there is, it's fucking level two. Um, basically the goal is to take all these data cubes and put them in the output. So take one from the inbox, put it in the outbox and repeat. However, when I do all this, Obviously the task gets completed, at the end you see the size challenge is completed, we've only used three commands, but for some weird reason it was way too slow, it took too many steps. Now I've been given an advice which might work, basically this jump somehow weirdly is like two steps or some weird thing. Anyway, what if we try doing this? The code is essentially still the same but we have fewer jumps, could be better. However, the levels are randomly generated kinda and run on a few tests to see if my solution is okay. And this relies on there being a, I guess, even number of data cubes, since I always take two from the inbox. Well, let's see, does it at least work? That's the first question, come on. Okay, it worked and it stopped right there. So maybe it's okay, let's see, it's, it's gonna be a miracle if it, this works. We don't care about the side challenge, but this... Oh, wow, yes, it worked! Oh, that's brilliant, what a genius idea. I love this. So finally, all... <laughs> yes, there you go, orange path fully optimized. Uh, meaning, yeah, all these yellow or orange levels are completed with all the optional challenges. That was... Surprising, really. Let's do level 14 now. Maximization rule. There's been a change of plans. The accounting department has determined that treating all numbers equally is no longer profitable. Well, of course, some numbers are just cunts. Oh, we want big numbers only. Let's do it. So grab two things from the inbox, put only the bigger of the two in the outbox. If they're equal, just pick either one and repeat. You've got a new command, jumps only if the thing you're holding is negative. Otherwise continue, oh fuck. Okay, so basically what we need to do is take a thing from the inbox, place it there on the ground and take another thing from the inbox. Now, I guess we somehow need to subtract those two to see which one is bigger. And when I use subtract, it rewrites what's in my hands. See what I'm holding minus the thing on the floor and the result goes into my hands. So I think I need to copy what I'm holding onto there as well. Then I subtract what I'm holding from zero. And now, if I'm holding a negative number, it means I want to take the thing that was there on the zero tile and put it out. Otherwise, one. So if negative, I want to do a copy from zero and outbox that, and if it wasn't negative, then I want to copy from a one and outbox that. I'd say let's put a jump there. Yes, so if it was negative, take from zero, otherwise from one, and every time outbox the result. If it's zero, we simply don't jump here, so copy from either one, and then we need another jump to repeat all this. So, could be confusing, but let's see how it works and if it works. I take, okay, these are equal. That's gonna be a little shit, but yeah, that's a zero, so take that, whatever. Here, this is gonna be interesting, but it's negative, so I hate it again. Anyway, uh, how do you pause this? There, I, I guess. So minus five, minus minus four is minus one. Is it negative? Oh shit, it is negative. Okay, this isn't gonna work, is it? Minus four, yeah, it's larger than two sixes again. I mean, those numbers are so shit. And now, minus three, minus seven. Okay, it, it worked. But I think if these numbers were switch, swap places, it wouldn't work. So I guess it's gonna fail on some tests. Too long, okay. Too slow, great. Oh, okay, it worked at least. Good. 
What do you want? Tell me more. You don't care which numbers are bigger or smaller. You get paid the same no matter what. I don't get paid. Oh fuck. Anyway, what I'm gonna do is copy this. It's a working solution, so I like it. Paste it here and now I can just play with that and fuck it up. So, I find it weird that these numbers are all negative. But I guess that's just unlucky. I, I want different numbers. So what I'm gonna do is force a different set of numbers by passing this solution but not any other solution. So basically always the first one is the one we want to output. So take from the inbox, outbox that and take from the inbox again just to toss that and repeat this. This means the first six gets output, then the minus four, then the six, minus three and there you go. Yes, so this solution works on this specific input but not on the other inputs. So let's try new numbers ah and this is much better great now i'm gonna run this code again just so i see how this should work finally so yeah we've got a negative number there so that was two minus nine is negative seven and if negative that means this number is bigger so we output that two negative numbers gonna skip that and here two and minus seven yeah it's gonna work the same way basically and now to work on that time and length so we need to lose one command oh i think i know so here this, this looks weird obviously so what if we first copy from zero and only if it's negative oh no oh no oh no i messed up Never mind. I hate that the if else is done like this. Okay, let's try and make it faster. I think if I remove this jump and just put another outbox there, so copy and outbox, otherwise copy and outbox, repeat, and another jump here just so it works, could be a little faster maybe, because in some cases I just don't do a jump. Should still work, it's the same code. Is it faster? It is faster, but not enough. This is bullshit. No, nope, no idea. I give up. Let's try... Oh, oh, I hate that I didn't do it. But we need to improve our morale. So let's get another coffee break. Year 15. Okay, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, just, just a simple coffee break. And that's it. Great. That's, that's great. Love it. I'm gonna try exclusive lounge. Just so I can feel properly shit. And then bail out on this. For each two things in the inbox, send a zero to the outbox if they have the same sign and send one if the signs are different. So we've got zero and one ready there. So how do we know if they both have the same sign? So let's just try and taking both from the inbox. Oh, this is gonna be so shit. How do you know they both have the same sign? I guess if you take one from the other and it's negative, and take the other from the first and it's positive they must both be positive and if you subtract two negative numbers from each other it's always gonna be negative unless they are the same in which case you get a zero each time oh fucking hell so let's just try subtracting one from the other if it's zero then they must be the same so we say just take either one and if it's negative then you uh, take what oh oh no i'm an idiot i don't care if they are positive or negative i just care if they have the same sign or not forget i said anything so if it's zero then we need to output zero so same sign oh so i can just output this great so if it's zero then it's zero right same sign but what if it's not zero then if it's negative, uh, what? If it's negative, I want to do it the other way, right? So if, say, 1 minus 8 is a negative number, I want to take the 1, I mean, it would be the other way, but whatever. I want to take the other number than I had previously and subtract it from the second one in that order. And if it's still negative, then I take from the zero. So if I subtract both of them and they are negative both times, then they both must be... Wait, wait, that's never gonna happen. Minus three minus minus four is positive. Minus four minus minus three is negative. 
So never can have two negatives. I am an idiot. So hang on, I'm getting so confused, like I'm trying to figure out if they're negative or positive, but I don't care. I just care if they're the same. So basically, if they're the same um, sign and you subtract one from the other and the other from the first, you should get different signs then. If they're like seven and minus nine, it's gonna be the same. We're not gonna do subtracting, right? Yeah, let's not. This is just bullshit. This is bullshit. So I'm holding the second number. If it's negative, I take the first number again. And if it's also negative, then it's the same uh, number. So I take the zero and outbox that, this zero. Same number, same sign. If the first is negative and the second isn't negative, I take the one and outbox. And if the first one is not negative and the second is negative, then uh, it's the one again, different signs. So I jump to here. Otherwise, if the first number is not negative and the second is also not negative, I need the zero. So I also need to copy from zero there. This is starting to be a little shitty. It's gotta work, right? Probably. I mean, this is bullshit, obviously. Like that can't work, possibly. One goes there, eight goes there. Now let's take it step by step. Is the one negative? No, it's not. So, that was here, sorry. Well, actually, let's try again. Let's try again, I, I messed up. So, we've got minus one, we've got minus seven. Is minus seven negative? Yes, it is. Then we take the minus one. Is the minus one negative? Yes, it is. So, both of these have the same sign, meaning I take the zero and outbox that. And I forgot to put the jump there, what an idiot. So again, new numbers, four and six. Is the minus six negative? Yes, it is. Now take the zero, I mean the four. Is it negative? No, it's not. Therefore, different signs. So take the one and outbox the one. And let's do this again. Minus eight and three. Is the three negative? This time, no, it's not. So take the minus eight. Is this negative? Yes, it is. But this time, different signs. So you take the one and outbox that. Eight and minus five, that's the same as the first thing. And minus eight, seven, same again, all ones. What a shit solution. But it works. It's way too dumb and complicated and long. But it works. I just want different numbers to actually show that it works. But they are basically these jumps are a fucking stupid way of doing if statements. Oh, you want to tell me something? Tell me more. This assignment is a basic Boolean logic operation. It's an exclusive OR. Oh yeah, exclusive OR. Okay, I didn't realize that. Well, I kind of did, but not sure it's gonna help me. I feel like I have way too many jumps there. I don't need to copy to one ever. I'm holding it. So if the second number I'm holding is negative, then I take from zero and check if that is negative as well. Because if so, same sign. If it's not negative, I copy from zero anyway. Is that also negative? Then copy from five. Not also negative, I mean. <laughs> I mean, this is such bullshit. How can I? Yeah, I mean, let's, 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 uh, let's, I mean, let's make a deal. Today was a failure. Two levels done. None of the optional challenges completed, but at least the fucking level two works now, right? Yes, it does. Yes, it does.